Welcome to part 27 of Legend of Dragoon, and we have a random encounter before we actually get to the boss of Shrine of Shirley. Let's see what we got here. Ah, new enemy, living statue. These things are weak. To everyone else. Labbits? May do a little bit extra damage because the living statue is an earth type creature. You gotta take their, uh, weaknesses to account. And in a way, since I'm kinda glad Shauna didn't came here. Because most of the enemies we fought here is either high powered or dark type enemies. And bullshit, I hit that! I would be careful though, these guys like to throw off earth magic. But it makes no difference, since they're weak to win, Lavitz will make quick work of them. Damn. And since everybody's health's in the 300s, it also definitely doesn't make any difference. Damn it! I have got to stop missing my additions. If I want their ultimate edition, I'm going to have to stop missing them. <sighs> anyway... Sorry for that long pause. Now it's time for us to actually find... Fight the boss of... Shirley Shrine, but first... Yep, this is a troll chest. Let me at least see how everybody's doing in it in health. Whoa! Rose is at level 90. Oh no, Rose is at 96 in health. Almost at level 96. It only goes up to 45, stupid. Anyway. Rose is at 96 health, which is not a good thing when going up against the who we're about to face. You know, I really could cut this battle out. Cause chances are it's somebody we've already fought. Nope! New enemy, actually! Plague Rats! As their name suggests, they love to cast bad stats. One of these little critters bite you? I do believe they cast, uh, what's it, what's it, fear? Oh, what's it, poison? Or the spirit? One of those stats! Whatever the case, they cast bad stats and they're a pain in the ass. Anywho, we still have our, we still have the strong man. Well, not anymore. But one thing about the plague rats, they will go down quickly, as you've already seen. And bullshit, I hit that. And it's running away. That was a waste of time. Now, without any further ado or any interruptions, let's go to the boss, shall we? Should be up these stairs here. And now we finally meet the boss of the Shrine of Sherry. Or try to get the go Goaty plant one of the two. Oh! It's amazing you made it through the traps, but your luck is over. Cause I won't let you go further. Come on, draw your sword! Wait, we're just here to look for, Dragoo for the Dragoni plant. We don't want to fight. You want me to believe that? You must be after the treasure, aren't you? That's not it! It's quicker to beat them. You thieves! Now you reveal your true selves! Prepare yourselves! Meet Drake the Bandit. Annoying is this guy's MO. This guy could do some heavy damage to Lavitz, and definitely do some heavy damage to Dart. But if there's anything you need to watch out for, is his traps. And, oh, I forgot to mention something. 
since our team has three Dragoons, a Yin Yang appears right next to the Dragoon symbol whoever, of whoever character that turn may be. They can activate that symbol and all three will instantly turn into Dragoons like so. And it will change the arena, giving the person who activated the arena a bonus. Meaning their attacks will do more damage. Which is a good thing. However, the arena will leave once one of two things happen. One, the Dragoon who activated his turn is up completely, like Dragoon Gaze is gone completely. And two, the Dragoon who activated ended up being killed. And now to show off Lavitz's almighty new Dragoon. And take that, trick the Bandit. How much did that do? Wow, that was a little underwhelming, don't you think? Funny thing is, so long as it's not the person who cast this area, whenever somebody else gets out of Dragoon, ouch. That hurt. Whenever somebody else gets out of Dragoon form, the area will still stay the same. Meanwhile, I will show off Death Dimension in this playthrough also. Considering Rose got that several parts ago. No wait, I did already show that off. It's Dart's new move that I need to show off. Well, we're basically going to have a clinic with this guy, and at some point he may be a pain in the butt. Ooh! He dropped Lavitz back in yellow once again. So basically all you need to do is just use Flame Shot. Apparently... Our friend seems to be weak against fire, because it's doing a hell of a lot more damage. Or maybe it's because Dart's stronger. No, he seems to be weak against fire, because it's certainly doing a lot of damage to him. We have done a good four or five hundred damage to him already, and he's got some pretty high HP. And that's saying a lot. One more Astral Drain for the road. Maybe that should revive Lavis' health a little bit. Taste the rainbow goodness. Like I said, this will have to do until Shauna gets... Okay, let me stop there. I'll save that for the next part. Anyway, everybody's back to normal. And Drake the Bandit's already in the yellow. I find this pretty good timing. However, there's one little problem about Drake the Bandit. He has this nasty little ways of dragging this fight on. And how, you may ask? Well, he sets traps. I warn you now, these bombs that he set, unless you kill these bombs, no wait, even if you do kill these bombs with physical attacks, you'll be blown to bits. You try to rush Drake, the bombs will explode. Meaning, not only do you have to kill, you have to do damage to Drake, but go through his traps. He'll also have a web that he'll use to protect himself. And when he pulls out that web, 
he'll heal at least 340 of his health. Which tracks this fight longer than what it needs to be. Jesus Christ. He's easy, but he's tedious. I'll just give him some good old downburst. Oh, what was that? That wasn't downburst. I think that was Gale Force. Whatever the case, just cut the web and you'll be able to get to him. And just use your powers to... Oh, it's Spinning Gale, that's right. Yeah, cut the Gale to get to him. Well, cut the web to get to him, sorry. And use magic, not physical attacks, against the bombs. Or Dragoon Spirit. That also helps too. And thus this fight has been prolonged longer than what it needs to be. That's why it's 19 minutes. Because I pretty much used everything in the kitchen sink to try to topple our good friend here. I wouldn't call him my good friend at all. Because he's sort of a douche. Now! Let's hack through this wire! Damn it! It doesn't work. No, it did work! It's just the fact that the wire still has some health left. Yes, the traps have health. I think we've already established that. But Drake only does that to pro does that to prolong the fight. I am going to say this though: when you know he's, you know that Drake is about to die. When Drake literally, and I repeat, literally pulls out both traps at the same time. That is an indicator that he's about to die. But trust me, this battle is not tough at all. Tedious, but not tough. I'll tell you something else though, the boss following this will make you facepalm. It'll actually make all the newbies facepalm. Because of how ridiculous it is. You'll just have to see it to believe it, and that will happen in part 28. Alrighty then. Rose has... I do believe Rose has two, uh, Dragoon... Well, oh shit, he's on his last leg. That means only one thing. I gotta eliminate him now. I've got to finish him quickly, or else, if not finish him, at least finish the bombs, because those bombs really hurt. They're not instant kill, but they do a hell of a lot of damage. I'd say 200, yeah, they do 200 damage to whatever character that touches them. If all three touches them, chances are your party will be either in the red or completely wiped out. So, I'll just use Death Dimension to avert that crisis. For now. And Drake literally is on his last leg. Volcano! 
Oh! I'll just... Oh! I missed one! Damn it! Well then... I'll just have to give some SP points to Labbits. I mean, uh, Spirit Potions to Labbits, sorry. One second thought, never mind! Mr. Oh, Goon is Max now! Oh! Let's hope we end this quickly. Yes. Damn it, missed him! Come on! Damn it! Ah, uh, he's doing that again. You know what? Screw this. Oh, and that's pretty much what happens when you try to go after Drake. You'll take damage. Oh, wait, I forgot! Dark has a Dragoon! So he's still dead! And I also promised the fans that I'd show off Explosion. Well, guess what, RV fans? I will not disappoint you. So, one explosion coming up! And let this be the end of Drake! Seeing as how fire attacks were so effective throughout this battle. That's the only perk of having Dart. Enemies that have weaknesses to fire, you already have the answer in your party and you can't trade them out. However, if he's weak to water, that's a different story. Nonetheless, maybe that last hit did it? I don't know. One thing's for sure. Oh, shit. I thought it was over with. Ah, criminy. Oh, wait. I have a Dragoon, don't I? As a matter of fact, I do. Actually, I can give a Sun's Rhapsody to Labbits. Since Labbits has a Dragoon. And maybe this will turn this battle around. Now then, let's end this battle. For reals this time. Because he literally is on his last leg. And wasn't it nice for me to come prepared with all these sudden rhapsodies and stuff like that? So, with that said, one wing blaster coming up! I still can't believe it didn't. I still can't believe Explosion didn't hurt him as much. Wing blaster! And now to say goodbye! And Lavis killed them all in one fell swoop! That's why I like Lavitz. Anyway, we're done here. But would you but wouldn't you know it, we have one more boss to deal with. And we will in part 28. And I think we got a new addition. This is Arbor Man985. See you guys next time.